unboxing and mini review of my new phone, the S7 in pink gold. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a true to pink phone, which is why I think they call it pink gold instead of rose gold. Now, as you can see, it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's really good. So I've been using this phone for two weeks now and I have to say it is absolutely amazing. Number one is the photos. The photos I've taken so far are really crisp. They're just high quality, which is amazing. Now I already bought two cases for it. I got this one and this one both from Amazon, but I don't really want to talk too much about it because I'll save it for another video. I'll probably do be doing a what's on my phone and another phone case connection once I get the hang of using this new device so um i'm just going to talk compare it to my s5 and also talk about my experience with this phone so far i've had been using this phone for two weeks and i have to say i'm very impressed with this phone and i highly recommend it for people who are just looking for an upgrade looking for or even if just looking for a nice pink phone in general this is just absolutely beautiful so Comparing to my, oh by the way, this phone is the normal S7, it's not the Edge, it's just the normal S7. So, comparing to my S5, they are relatively the same size. I think I think maybe the S7 is slightly smaller, but not that noticeable, which is good, because this is the kind of size phone that I like the most. And, yeah, they're pretty much the same. The camera quality, of course, is a lot better. There's a lot more filters, a lot more options when taking pictures, taking videos. I absolutely love it. I'll probably have some pictures here of how my photos came out unedited or anything. They just looked really amazing. Um, one thing I don't like about it is obviously because this is a new device, um, when you wanna when it comes to customizing your phone, which I'd like to do a lot, like when I, when I say customising, I mean like maybe changing the font, changing the colour of the interior, like the themes, the keyboard, everything like that. When it comes to customization, there are a lot of apps that are not compatible with the S7 or other new devices because they haven't updated their software to be compatible with this device, which is a downside. Um, you'd, I'd have to wait for them to update so I can start... Um, customizing my phone better because right now I'm struggling to really find a nice text that will look good on my phone. Now the Samsung Galaxy S7 does come with some default fonts so there are some fonts to choose from. I think let me show you. If you were to go into settings, display and fonts you can see here. Now the font I'm using is called Choco Cookie, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> you can download other fonts. Some of them are free, some of them are... You have to pay. So I'm not really a fan of these fonts. So I just have to wait for the apps to update to get my fonts. Now, as well as fonts, you can change the theme. The theme of your device. So, if you just go into settings, themes, there will be some themes, some of them are free, some of them you would have to pay, but probably no more than £3, £3 or under. Some of them are even really cheap, like 54 pence for this one, which is really cute. But, then I, but for me, I'd rather create my own theme instead of using ready-made themes, but there are quite a few nice ones in here. So, yeah. Now, a lot of people are comparing this to the iPhone. I think, I don't, I'm not sure which one it is, but the iPhone, which is has the rose gold colour. Now, I've seen that phone. My friend has it, and I would say it's a really beautiful phone. But I say this phone is a lot more pink. It's a lot more noticeably pink. So, if you're really looking for a nice pink phone, I would gravitate towards the S7 but both phones are amazing so that's this is another reason why they call this phone pink 
gold instead of rose gold. So this phone obviously came in a box here or here. I have a little unboxing. So this is the box. Now the tiny tree part a bit. This this is the box. Now it's okay, but it's not as nice as the box I got for my S5. Now this box, I really, 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 really love this box. I've been using this as storage. And it was just, I really love it because it's just really, it's, it's a neutral colour, it's just well designed, I really love it. Now some of you might be thinking, it's not about the packaging, it's about the phone, but for me, I really like to use my old packaging as storage. You know, why waste something like this? Because, you know, you could use it again. For this, I probably won't use this as storage because, um, you know, it's okay, but it's not really my thing. So I did slide, um, but one thing I really loved that they included was this USB connector. Now how this works is you, I think you can connect this to your new device or your old one, I'm not sure, with your um, charger wire and it will transfer all the stuff on your old phone to your new device. So this includes pictures, phone numbers old messages like everything will be transferred onto your device which is amazing because it saves you a lot of time a lot of effort and it really doesn't take all that long so yeah thumbs up for samsung for including this in their box i loved it so yeah so everything was easy to transfer and stuff yeah and also inside you've got booklet warranty Thing like that and of course the headphones so here are the headphones they're just basic samsung headphones i guess okay so that concludes my mini review of my new s7 in pink gold i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope to see you in my next video bye